And new at 10, hundreds of people forced to heat their condos with their ovens after a series of pipe leaks. It's happening right here at the Woodstream Falls condos at South Dayton Street and East Iliff Avenue. 7 News reporter Molly Hendrickson speaking with residents, and she found this isn't the first time they've been through this. Yeah, in fact, Teresa, this is the third time they say this month they've had problems with the pipes here at these par apartments or these condos, rather. Now, most of these are rented out. Heat is included in the rent, and the HOA is responsible for making sure it's working. Residents tell us the HOA is falling way short of its duties. This oven is what I've been using to heat, heat out here, right? For Lisa Wiley. You come in here in my room. This is all I got right here. Living in the cold is getting awfully old. I'm fed up. I done had it up to here. Leaky pipe shut off the heat to this complex a week ago. And as temps drop, it's still not on. A lot of people are running their ovens. The HOA admits it's an ongoing problem. In April, residents say they went three weeks heat free. And on the back of this latest shutoff notice, another shutoff notice from October. The owners could be doing something about this, but they don't live here, so they don't care. You know, during this time of the year, we'll have several breaks, just like now. Sun Chu is one of those owners. He says the pipes are 40 years old. A fix would cost $6 million. At this moment, uh, owners of the condo uh, association, uh, you know, do not want to spend the necessary funds to replace all of the pipes that's on the ground. Does it concern you that they're running space heaters and some are running their ovens 24 hours a day? Are you concerned about a fire danger? Well, the, the, uh, of course the concern is there, but uh, we need, you know, we need heat for them. Tell that to people like Wiley, who's tired of being left in the cold. I think they cowards and I think they inconsiderate. And the HOA president says he hopes to have the heat back on tonight here at some time tonight. But that's little comfort for people who live here and who have been through this time and time again. They know it's only a matter of time before those pipes cause more problems. Reporting live in Denver, Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.